Welcome to the second video in this tutorial series where we're creating a beat em up game in Scratch. And in this video, we're going to be covering then the attacks of our player. So our player is going to be able to hit a left jab, a right jab, and an uppercut. So let's begin. To get started, we have to go to our player sprite and go to the costumes. And what we're going to do is upload the costumes. And if we go to our mini boxing from the previous tutorial, just go right here. And the first animation that we're going to input is the left punch. So go to the punch left and select this, hold the shift button and select the rest of them. So from 21 to 26, you should have the punch animation. Bow. And then next, we're going to upload the right punch. So we should go to punch right and input these. So now the last one is going to be the uppercut. So this is going to be labeled as punch up. So select this to six and open this. So now we should have 39 animations and you should make sure that you input these animations in the exact same order um, so that the code works for you unless you intend on changing the code in any way. So now let's go to our code. And from the previous um, tutorial, I said we should have the if statement here twice. And there was a reason for that. So over here at this if statement, we, we actually want to look for pressing any buttons that um, are used in the game. So let's take this out and we're going to be using, we're going to be actually adding three more buttons and it's going to be Q, W and E. So this is going to be the new punching buttons that we're going to add. So let's put in um three new or statements and then th throw this one here. So then just go to sensing and what we're going to do is say if key and then just bring all this in here. all these in here and now we're going to the first one being the Q so now let's in, um, say if key Q is pressed um, we're also going to use W and E so these are the buttons that we want to be using and look if they're being pressed and if they are then we're going to simply not go into the idle state so next we're going to bring in another if statement or what you can just do is duplicate this and put this right under the original if statement and just bring out a single key. And here we're going to use the first key, which is going to be our left punch. And we're going to say if key Q is pressed, then we're going to change animation state to left punch. P U N C H. And then what we're going to say is we want if our player is to perform an attack, we want them to go to the front layer. So in front of any enemies that they may possibly have. And then we're going to switch the costume to um, the first punch animation. So punch left zero zero. And then we're going to remove this. And what we're going to add is the in control repeat five and then we're going to wait 0 0.03 seconds and then we're going to switch the costume and i believe we have one already here we can just duplicate this so right click and then duplicate so that's how you would duplicate and put that right under here so now if we press on the flag and press q we'll notice that that's how the punch um, works so yeah now we can do our left punch and still walk around and yeah that's what we need to do for our left punch now let's add the other three punches so just duplicate this and put it right under the first punch and we're going to say instead of Q let's put W and duplicate that one more time and instead of W put E so now we have left punch the next one we're going to add is the right punch and we're basically going to say switch costume to 
punch right and then for our up punch we're going to realize that we have more animations for our up punch than the left and the right so instead you'd want to switch this to repeat six and then let's rename this to up punch so backspace up punch and then change this to up so now if we click on the flag and perform the punches we would notice that we can punch q w and e seems to be a bit bugged out but let's go to um first i would want to switch the um letters so i i, I think w would make for the better up punch so let's change this to w and e to be the right punch so i feel like that's a better um, experience for the player and then if we go to costumes let's just make sure that the the punches are in the right order so punch zero zero up punch zero zero one punch zero zero okay so it seems like this zero two it was button in the wrong order so zero zero three 004, 005, and 006. Okay, now let's try that again. Now the up punch is working properly. So just, if, if you see any problems, just try to make sure that they're in the correct order. So in the next video, we're going to be covering an enemy. We're going to add an enemy into our game. So make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when that next video comes out. And that one's going to be a banger as well. So. Yeah, just if you enjoyed the video, please like it and see you in the next video. Bye.